hi everyone thank you for tuning in today's recipe i'll be showing you how to cook ofakun which is palm nut stew i am rosie you are welcome to my kitchen for the ingredients i'll be using macro fish i will season with salt pepper means to combine everything together and this fish is very delicious you don't need a lot of seasoning to season the fish just salt and pepper is okay and i'll transfer the fish to a baking pan i'm going to be baking the fish in the oven However, you can fry them if you prefer. I'll bake at 350 degree Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. I will be using palm nut cream for this recipe we don't have the fresh ones where i live if you have the fresh ones you can use it i'll wipe the tin before opening it if you are using the fresh palm nuts you have to boil it first and extract the cream out transfer the palm nut cream inside a bowl Add hot water to dissolve it. So once it's well mixed, leave it to settle down because this palm nut cream always contains some black particles down. So over here is dry fish. I will add some hot water to soak the fish. And then we we'll leave that aside. And here I have Ogirio Bay, seasoned cube, grounded crayfish, pepper, onions, and scent leaves. If you don't have scent leaves, you can also use any other vegetables you prefer. And I will go ahead to dice the onions. And that is done I will be using chicken for this recipe and you can use any meat of your choice I will add some diced onions salt season cube and stir I'll be cooking the chicken without adding water to it. I'll leave it to cook in its own juice, but I'll be cooking it on medium to low heat so it doesn't get burnt. Cover and then I'll cook the chicken. So over here is the fish. The fish is ready and then we take the fish out of the oven. And I'll put that aside I will check if the chicken is ready and this chicken produce all of this liquid by itself I did not add water so at this point the chicken is ready I'll be separating the chicken from the stock and I'm going to transfer the chicken to a preheated oven and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit 
you can also use the chicken without baking is totally up to you so next transfer the palm nut cream gently inside the pot and be careful so that the settled particles do not enter the pot like so I will add some diced onions and cover and leave it to cook down. If you are using the fresh palm nut, do not cover it at the stage because it will boil out. But that doesn't happen with the thin one. So over here, I have some jasmine rice and I'm going to wash the rice till the water is clear. And here I have hot water in the pot. I will add salt and a little bit of oil because the rice I'm cooking tends to stick together and this will prevent it from sticking. And I will add in the washed rice. I will add some onions and stir. I'll cover and cook the rice until the rice is ready. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes. So next in a mortar, I will add in the ogiri obe, fresh pepper, and I will roughly grind it. You can also use a blender or a food processor to do this as well. And that is done. Add the blended pepper and yogurt inside the pot and stir. I will add in the dried fish, which is clean and deboned already. And I'll be adding the grilled chicken at this point. And stir. I will cover and leave it to thicken up a little bit. So over here is the rice. And I will check at this point the water is dried and the rice is ready. And I will cover and put that aside. You will know the stew is almost ready when the oil starts to settle on top and I'll be skimming off the excess oil which can be used for other recipes. I will not be adding any more salt or season cube to this stew. The one I use in cooking the chicken is just okay for me. The amount of salt and season cube you use for your dish is totally up to you. Always add season to your own taste. I will add in the blended crayfish and the baked mackerel fish. I will stir and leave it for about two minutes. And I'll be finishing it up with the scent leaves. Once the vegetables are in there, I will stir and then turn off the stove. The heat will cook the vegetables. At this point, it smells amazing here. I wish you guys can perceive the aroma. So this is the consistency I like, not too thick and not too light. You can adjust it to the way you like. And this still tasted so, so delicious. So here I have the Ofakun checked and the cooked rice checked. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video.